Verdi was a very progressive thinker, and so for him, a curse is a thing of nonsense. He wasn't superstitious, he didn't believe in the supernatural. So how do you make a curse real? Well, he realized, of course, that a curse is a matter of perception. Now, the actual curse spewed forth by Monterone is full of rage, fire, brimstone, wrath, everything that you expect. Fantastic music. It's extremely expressive. It's extremely mysterious. Something is going to happen. After the tumult and upset of the first scene, Rigoletto is left on stage by himself. And we hear this rather Wagnerian chord articulated with a bass rhythmic figure. It's angst, fear, worry. Verdi heightens the tension by raising the top note. He's looking for solace, he's looking for some sort of comfort. And we reach the dominant, the most comforting chord in music. From here, we know where we're going. The C that he's about to sing, desperately wants to rise. And that is in fact what Verdi first wrote. But if this C, which is imbued with such a desire to move, stays, repeats, and doesn't resolve, everything is left hanging. Verdi based this prelude on the curse. Solo trumpet and trombone start the entire piece. And so one of the great baritone soprano duets begins. To music of surpassing beauty, we learn about a father's almost obsessive love and the daughter's naive trust. At the end of the duet, Rigoletto leaves and he entreats his daughter never to go out. The curse so prevalent in Rigoletto's mind must come to fruition somehow, and it does so, of course, through the Duke. The beautiful girl he was talking about at the beginning of the opera is Rigoletto's daughter, Gilda. And in his second aria, he says that he has never felt like this before. So he waits till Rigoletto leaves, and he sneaks in, disguised as a poor student, knowing that's what Gilda will like. He surprises her, and she is irredeemably lost. Gilda, trying to find out what is going on in her own mind, begins her famous aria. Blossoms to a new chord. As she says his name to herself. New chord, showing all the emotions that she's going through. Her last line is extremely important and unfortunately prophetic. She says, even my last breath will be yours. And so we have all the ingredients for a great tragedy. It is one of the great evenings in the theater. I hope you enjoy it.